These are the areas that I'll be briefly covering in today's session. I'll mainly be talking about AND services and also mentioning a couple of services for finding vocabularies. What is the AND's vocabulary service? What does it comprise and who may use it? And if I want to get an idea of whether a vocabulary exists in a particular subject area, where might I start looking? The ANS Vocabulary Service is called Research Vocabularies Australia, or RVA. RVA helps me to create and manage vocabularies. I can publish a vocabulary in formats that are usable by people and by machines. This means that I can browse a published vocabulary through a web user interface, and I can use RVA to draw vocabularies into my local systems for use within my organisation. RVA also helps to make the vocabularies more findable, more visible, as information about the vocabularies is harvested by Google. So in summary, RVA provides services supporting creation and management, discovery and access. And I'll next talk about each of these areas. RVA provides a means of editing existing vocabularies or creating new vocabularies. The Pool Party Vocabulary Editor is a user-friendly web-based tool. It outputs SCOS, but you don't have to know much about SCOS to use it. Here's an example of a vocabulary. The left-hand pane shows the vocabulary's hierarchical structure. The right-hand pane shows details about a highlighted concept. And it's a reasonably straightforward process to create concepts and to express relationships between them. RVA also provides a means of publishing vocabularies. This is a view of the RVA publishing portal showing a vocabulary created for the Australian Ocean Data Network, or AODN. It's the AODN platform vocabulary, and we can see what the vocabulary is about, license conditions for reuse, how it may be accessed, as well as previous versions. In this example, access options include file download and access via the application programming interface. We can also see that there are two earlier versions of the vocabulary, versions 1 and 1.1. In this example, the publisher has chosen to create and release versions and has also decided that earlier versions may remain available for use. RVA supports choice regarding versioning and access to current and superseded versions. RVA helps to make vocabularies more discoverable. The metadata from the RVA publishing portal is harvested by Google. I can search Google for marine platform vocabularies and find the AODN vocabulary. Google points me back to the landing page for the vocabulary. I can see what it is, what it's about, access conditions and how to gain access. RVA provides information that helps me to make an informed choice about whether the vocabulary may be suitable for my purposes. I've talked about how RVA services can be used to support vocabulary management, publication and discovery. RVA services can also be integrated with local services. As an example, the AODN has a portal which provides access to marine and climate science data. Not surprisingly, the AODN portal uses AODN vocabularies. If the vocabularies are hosted by ANDs, how do they end up in the system that drives the AODN portal? The answer lies in the fact that RVA provides technical means to draw vocabularies into local systems. Access can be provided by an application programming interface, a Sparkle endpoint, or a widget. As an example, AODN edit and publish their vocabularies using RVA services. When a new version of a vocabulary is published, the AODN portal uses the RVA application programming interface to get hold of it. This publishing workflow allows AODN to focus on their core services, rather than having to maintain additional services for vocabulary creation and management. They use the AND services to maintain their vocabularies and to get access as needed. I've talked about the RVA components and the AODN example provides an illustration of how those components can work together. Editing in Pool Party, publishing to the RVA portal, integrating with the AODN portal via the RVA application programming interface. But that's not the only way to use RVA services. 
The RBA services can be used separately or in combination. Here are a few possible examples, all of which are valid. In the first example, I know of a vocabulary which I want more people to know about. I can describe the vocabulary in the RVA portal and the description can include a link to wherever the vocabulary is published. In the second example, I want to edit a vocabulary using Pool Party and I also want to publish that vocabulary to the RVA portal so that others may have access and reuse it. In the third example, I want to publish a vocabulary and make it accessible for reuse. I don't wish to use the Pool Party editor. I already have tools for editing my vocabulary. And in the fourth example, I want to edit a vocabulary. I'm not in a position to publish it. Maybe it will become publicly accessible or maybe it has to remain in-house. I don't know at the moment, but I want to get started. So you can see that I don't have to use the editor to use the publishing portal. I don't have to use the publishing portal to use the editor. I can edit a vocabulary and choose not to make it publicly accessible. And I can upload a vocabulary to the publishing portal without using the ANS editing software. Here's some information about how to access RVA services. The RVA portal itself is accessible to anyone and the Pool Party Editor is available to Australian research organisations, including collecting organisations such as libraries, archives, galleries and museums, as well as government agencies and universities. Finally, a couple of starting points for finding vocabularies. The RVA portal contains vocabulary descriptions, descriptions of vocabularies that are hosted by RVA, and descriptions of vocabularies that are not hosted. Those that are not hosted are described because ANS received suggestions that information about these vocabularies would be of interest to Australian researchers. It's intended that the collection will grow over time. At the moment, it's relatively small. Two of the larger directories of vocabularies are the Bartok and Linked Open Vocabularies. In the case of Bartok, it indexes vocabularies. It also lists other vocabulary directories and both Bartok and Linked Open vocabularies are well worth exploring. Here are some links to information about the ANS vocabulary service, as well as two examples of directories of vocabularies. That concludes this presentation. Thanks for your attention.